turning yeah, it on, expecting a message of like, hi, I love you. Hope you landed right. well. And it, the like hospital message, like what? Right, right. So you might have those, you know, that's more of an oral and, and, and memory, the hearing the words, this is the hospital. And so one of the things we can do for that is just two fingers on the forehead, just start to tap and take your attention away from the sound or the memory of that and into the sensation and the sound of the fingers on the forehead. So that's one way that we can work with that. And so what we're doing is we're reminding ourselves that here in this moment, I can feel the sensation and the sound of my fingers. Oh, I can feel the shift in my whole body and physiology, even right. from that. Mm. Yeah, so in this moment, he's safe and so are you right but in your body you went back to that moment when you got off the plane and it's urgent because it's it's life it's it's a life threat and it would have changed everything for you if he had died and you weren't ready to say goodbye and you're still not now and so your brain is very helpfully going let's make sure that doesn't happen even though we have no control over something like that. We don't. Right? That, that makes that's it even the, what's scarier. so funny. It's like, it's, let's be prepared for that to happen. I'm like, well, let's not. <laughs> like, it let's doesn't not. actually help. It just scares us. So an, a way to work with the image though, is you could put an image of you with the phone, or you could put an image of the words. It's, I can't, I can't stand it if he dies or I, it's, it's too soon. And then just look at, put it in a frame and notice like if you're looking at words, he's going to die. There's shapes, there's spaces, just you can see that the words are just letters that are shapes and we have a meaning for them. And if you have it like a, could be like a billboard or could be just like a frame, like printing on it, but then notice that there's space on the outside of the frame. And now take your eyes around the space a couple of times in each direction. Oh. And then look back into the frame. Look at the words again. What's your response now to those words? It's so different. That eyeball movement felt really good. Which I'm sure is no surprise. Yeah, it helps to break the trance of the words, right? So catastrophic thinking puts us into a trance. Mm. this is going to happen this is going to happen oh no this is going to happen and we feel it in our whole body we see it we smell it we hear it right and so both of those things the tapping and the tracing around the outside that's bilateral brain stimulation that we're doing mm. when we do that it helps us to to our it helps our primitive brain and our nervous system to realize that's actually not happening that's